Android Auto black screen issues are among the most frustrating problems drivers face when trying to connect their phones to their car's infotainment system. The main causes of Android Auto black screens include connectivity problems, software glitches, and compatibility issues between your phone and car system. Recent developments in June 2025 show specific issues with Android Auto versions 13.4 and 13.5, causing Wi-Fi connection problems and phone reboots. There are also reported compatibility issues with Android 15 and Pixel 9 Pro devices. For connections, wired setups using high-quality USB cables are often more reliable than wireless connections. Use cables under 3 feet or 1 meter for best results and avoid USB hubs or extensions. Keep your phone's operating system, Android Auto app, and car infotainment system updated to resolve known bugs and compatibility issues. Verify that the Android Auto app has the necessary permissions on your phone, including location, data access, phone access, and storage permissions. Clearing the Android Auto app's cache and data can resolve many glitches. Go to Settings, then Apps, find Android Auto, tap Storage, and clear both cache and data. These basic troubleshooting steps address the most common causes of Android Auto black screen issues. Start with these solutions before moving to more advanced fixes. When basic restarts don't solve your Android Auto display issues, it's time for advanced troubleshooting. Let's start with connection problems, which are often the root cause. For wired connections, the cable and port are critical. Use a high quality USB cable under three feet long and avoid USB hubs or extensions. The cable that came with your phone is often your best choice. For wireless connections, Bluetooth pairing is essential. Make sure Bluetooth is enabled and properly paired. Often, forgetting all previously connected cars and repairing from scratch resolves persistent connection issues. If connection troubleshooting doesn't work, the Android Auto app itself might need attention. Clearing the app's cache often resolves glitches and display problems. If clearing the cache doesn't help, try uninstalling and reinstalling the Android Auto app completely. This ensures you have a fresh installation without any corrupted data. When app fixes don't work, system-level resets may be necessary. These are more drastic steps, but can resolve deeper compatibility issues. Ford Sync users have specific troubleshooting steps. Ensure your device is properly connected, use manufacturer-approved cables, and set the audio source to USB. If all software solutions fail, hardware might be the issue. USB ports can wear out or become damaged. As a workaround, if wireless connections are problematic, stick with USB connections. These advanced troubleshooting steps should resolve most Android Auto display problems. Remember to try solutions in order from least to most disruptive and always ensure your software is up to date.